everybody. Hello, hello. It's Monday, and um, like I said on Twitter, I am in an Ace Attorney mood because your girl bought the Ace Attorney Chronicles. I haven't, I haven't played any of the great Ace Attorney Chronicles yet. Um, but I charged. Oh goodness, Minda's already here. I charged up my DS, so I'm gonna finish. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna finish um, that one case in Dual Destinies. I'm gonna finish. Midna, do you mind? You just okay? You good? That's it. That's all you wanted. Cool. Um, one case in Dual Destinies. I'm gonna finish Spirit of Justice. I'm gonna finish um, this. Obviously, uh, we're gonna go on this wonderful ride to finish uh, the Ace Attorney Investigations little mini series. There. This is the second one. Um, and then I'm gonna play Great Ace Attorney Chronicles on stream with my with my capture card and my Switch. I I need to I need to. All of my Ace Attorney friends that like cosplay Ace Attorney and okay, come here. And draw Ace Attorney fan art are like already playing it and I'm super jealous and I'm getting like extreme FOMO. So I've got I've gotta I've gotta get there. But I don't I don't wanna just skip over stuff, you know? I know it's a prequel, but I'm just, that's how I am, okay? I gotta do it. I gotta do things in order. Um, but anyway, I hope everybody's having a good Monday and I hope everybody's ready to uh, listen to me butcher some accents again, cause I have a great time doing that. I really do, genuinely. Um, oh goodness. Um, I also have candy today. I have toffee, toffee from, from uh, Savannah that my parents got for me. Um, Oh my god, it's so good, and it's just, it's perfect because this case is all about confections and pastries and, and candy, so um, it's very fitting, and I'm, I'm like in, I'm in the zone, I'm in the mood. Um, going along with my, oh gosh, let me fix my thing real quick, because it's hopefully not peaking, but we'll, we'll see. Um, going along with what I was, this new habit I'm trying to implement uh, for my streams is I have some trigger warnings here for uh, Ace Attorney Investigations. Um, there's not too many, I don't think, I mean, I don't, I, there's no like official list somewhere, at least I didn't find it, so I had to kind of like work from memory, um, and obviously I don't know what's coming next, so I'm just kind of, some of them are a little more blanket terms, but uh, you know, take a gander. put Minda back on the floor. Um, but yeah, there's obviously there's some murder. Uh, it's a murder mystery. Um, parental death. We talk about Edgeworth's father, um, kind of. So there's that, uh, some implications of suicide sometimes, um, violence, obviously, cause somebody's murdered. Uh, but, and there was some body shaming that I do remember happening in the last couple of, uh, streams that I did with this, um, with like some of the characters like eating too much or whatever. So, um, just, you know, keep that in mind. If that's not your, uh, cup of tea or your, um, or your toffee bit, <laughs> which is all I have right now, um, then feel free to, you know, sit this one out, but just want to keep everybody abreast of the knowledge. Um, and anywho, we are, uh, moving right along and we're going to play Ace of Tidy. So last we left, uh, our dear friends, um, <laughs> it's currently paused. Oh, and also it's probably muted, which I don't think there was any music playing, but just in case. Uh, last we left our dear friends, we had, uh, it was Christmas. Actually, I don't remember what happened last time. I'll, I'll remember. Give me a minute. Oh, oh goodness. All right. Um, oh, oh, that's right. We had gone back to the, the actual flashback of it because similar things are happening in the present day. So now we're, we're back in the past, right? Yeah. Okay. Anywho, who is this? This is Gregory. Uh, I think I just used my own voice for Gregory because that's kind of what I do with Edgeworth. So, um, Detective Bad, thank you for helping us earlier. Yes, thank you. Sweet baby Ray! Thanks for what? <laughs> There's no need to be shy about it. <laughs> Enough about that. I suppose 
You intend to investigate today, too? Of course. We still need more information to prove Mr. Master's innocence. It's a little loud for myself. Sorry, I had to turn it down for myself. I'm sorry, but apart from this patio, you're not allowed to investigate anywhere else. What? So you saying we can't investigate? I'm guessing this is Von Karma's doing. Yeah. Von Karma's a bit on edge at the moment. He still has received the autopsy report. Oh no! The autopsy report! Moreover, the only ones in this mansion are Miss Hall and the police. So don't get your hopes up. I'm speaking with the people connected to this case. Von Karma's being uh, being. <laughs> Sorry, I was good on, on the th <laughs> on the first half, then I kind of exploded on the way down. But anyway, uh, Von Karma is being completely unreasonable. He's gone too far. Aw, oh, sweet baby Ray. Detective Bad, what do you intend to do? I promised I'll do anything I can to assist you. You have my thanks. I watched um I watched a noir, well, neo-noir film. Uh, Chinatown with um, Jack Nicholson in it and granted Jack Nicholson was like kind of one of those like really cocky noir detectives not one of those like really kind of gloomy and like serious stoic kind but it was very it was like mm, yes Look at that good noir detective it made me want to play LA noir again like the for the, the 15 bajillionth time that I played it and I know that game gets a lot of hate, and there's definitely ways that it could have been better, but I really love that game. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Gregory is, uh, is serving us some noir today. We won't let any of Von Kama's dirty tricks get the best of us. Detective Bad, is it all right if we investigate the fountain patio? Yes. We've already finished checking everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Out of breath there. Except for the fountain. That's fine. As long as there is still something, I shall continue investigating. And thus, we begin our investigation. We gonna run. Oh, there's a piano. Uh, oh, oh, wait, that's a drum set. Okay, <laughs> I meant to look at the piano, but anyway. It's a drum in the shape of a cake. It was probably used in piece of cake. Detective Bad, about this drum. It's already been investigated. The inside is hollow, but there's no sign that anything was hidden inside. It's not related to the case. You knew exactly what I was going to say. Hmm. I may have a sweet tooth, but that doesn't mean I have candy for braids. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Source Hill, if you're in there, if you're lurking, I don't know. You don't have to say anything if you're lurking, but that needs to be a line in your movie. I may have a sweet tooth, but that doesn't mean I have candy for brains. That's, come on, that's like gold right there. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, now I really would do, no, I don't want to talk to you right now. I mean, I, what? <laughs> no, I don't need to talk to you. Sorry, Detective Bad. I didn't mean to, uh, okay, I wanted to look at the piano. It seems these musical instruments were used in piece of cake. Of course, these probably aren't made of candy. Detective Bad looks somewhat disappointed. Ah, oh, he wanted them to be made of candy. Is this Santa made of candy? It's a figure of Santa Claus. I suppose it's also made of candy. <clears throat> Behind that door is Master's room. This Santa is probably another one of his works. Santa, huh? I wonder what I should get my son for Christmas this year. Oh my god, wait, is this the Christmas of the DL6? It's... Anyway, I'm just gonna cry. Um, uh, anywho. I think he... <laughs> I think he said he wanted an attorney's badge. Uh, I 
wonder if I can ask Mr. Master to make him one out of candy. <laughs> I every line makes my heart just. Anyway, this leads to Gustavia's room. There's a reindeer by the door. According to the nameplate, it's made entirely of candy. Such splendid antlers. Very manly. But a male reindeer's antlers fall off during the winter. So this must be a female. You lawyers. Always giving out useless information. What does that have to do with being a lawyer? <laughs> Savage. It's very Christmassy. I mean, I guess it is Christmas at the time of this uh, case. What an amazing trophy. It's probably Master's world's greatest pastry chef, huh? It's also made out of candy. It doesn't seem like it would last long. Honor and glory don't last long. I think that's the lesson here. I don't think it's quite as deep as that. <laughs> Dude, it's not that deep. These angel statues look like they're eating chocolate fondue. It would seem. These angel statues are also Pierre Hoquet's works. As expected, they're very well made. Looks just like the real thing. So you've seen a real angel before, Detective Bad? <laughs> Defense attorneys, always the first to find fault with everything. That wasn't finding fault. Hmm, perhaps that was wrong of me? <laughs> <clears throat> I can see other trophies. <clears throat> Many of the trophies Master has received are placed here. Besides dessert contests, there are also awards for his charity work. Aw. An evident display of both his skill and character. Hmm? This trophy is... To recognize the TV program piece of cake for giving children hopes and dreams. Delicious. Delicious hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. Now I want to see it too. A snowman! A snowman! Oh wait, I'm gonna talk to the officer. The investigation is underway! Will the authorized personnel be on this point? Aren't I... authorized personnel? Uh, sorry! Authorized personnel are prohibited too! <laughs> I guess that means no one can enter. Are these... Von Karma's orders? I can't stand that guy! A Christmas tree. Merry Chrysler. It's a Christmas tree made out of table sugar. Thanks to these decorations, this place is on red alert. If even a single ant made it inside, it would be terrible. Indeed, because ants are annoying, and I actually have I've had to deal with ants in my apartment recently, which has been aggravating. Oh, and then I found out that we have ants at work. They were like... They were like in my coworker's keyboard. Like, they, we had to get like the compressed air and just like. <sighs> ants, man. What's that Archer quote? It's just like, do you want ants? Because this is how you get ants. <laughs> Indeed, if ants got in here, it would be disastrous. I'll talk to this lady, Miss Hall, the French, the French woman, or at least I've made her French. Miss Hall, I've come to investigate today. Ah, no, she's Oh, she is French. Okay, so I, I thought that was like. Oh, you'd think after I've done her voice like four or five times, I would have remembered that she is, like, I guess canonically French. French coded. Is that like a thing? Anyway. <laughs> she literally says, Monsieur. So I should. Anyway. Ah, Monsieur Edouard, I apologize for my disgraceful behavior earlier. What was it? Kate. She still looks a bit down. What Master said earlier must have been a real shock to her. I've prepared the photo I took of the desserts during the semi-finals. Please, take a look. Ooh! How fun! Wow, Delicia's cake is so cute! Monsieur Master also plays the design of Delicia's work very highly. Wait, isn't Delicia ch a cheater? Didn't Delicia, like, build it out of something else? Isn't she, like, a pharmacist? Messieurs, Gustavia and Dovel's works against high praise for both taste and design, but... 
Monsieur Master said it felt like he was eating the exact same thing twice. But it seems that our desserts had completely different tastes for the finals. Was there anything else that was different between the finals and the semifinals? It's nothing major, but there was something. During the contest, Monsieur Gustavia's son always came to see him, but... There was no sign of him at the finals. His son came to visit? I wonder if there's any significance behind that. Oh, I just imagined like little Edgeworth and like Gregory Edgeworth, like Daddy Edgeworth and little Edgeworth, just like take your son to work day. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. I love it, he's a turdy, but it makes my heart hurt. <laughs> Would you mind leaving this photo with me? Certainly, anything to aid the investigation. Especially since I'm totally the murderer. <laughs> she totally murdered him. And here's the recipe book that contains this special drug for curing taste disorders. That cover looks familiar. Is it? Yeah. Wasn't this framed in Master's room? Since it's also the prize for the contest, we put it out on display. Ah, so the contest prize, Angel's Recipe. Wasn't just a recipe for desserts. That's right, we've informed the participants, but it seems you all don't know yet. So the participants knew about the true contents of the Angel's Recipe. There's a freaking fruit fly. Miss Hall, please tell me all you know about the Angel's Recipe. So the Angel's Recipe contains the formula for the drug. Yes, it's a recipe book for, for new drugs that haven't been released. Oh my god. Now I'm just like slurring my words together. Yes, it's a recipe book for new drugs that haven't been released to the public yet. If sold to a pharmaceutical company, I'm sure it would fetch a substantial price. Clap. I will get it. Just, just bear with me. What? Is something like that a prize in the contest? Monsieur Master is the only heir to the chairman of the Master Group. M Master Group? That name sounds familiar. They're a pharmaceutical company who deal in a wide range of products. Ah! They've become big news recently with the release of Cold Killer X. I often use the Cold Killer products. But I've never once seen you with a cold. Probably because he uses the Cold Killer X products. Ringing endorsement, I might say. I would like to hear more about the Master Group. Did Mr. Master not want to follow in his parents' footsteps? Monsieur Master wanted to bring joy to people with his desserts. His parents also wanted him to become a great pastry chef and supported him. When his parents died, the recipe book was left to him as it his inheritance. Why would he give away a memento of his parents as a prize in the contest? There were always people who were after it, something which troubled Monsieur Master. But just giving away the memento would have been disrespectful to his parents. So, he decided to pass it over to someone he acknowledged. And the members of the Master Group approved of that. Information about new drugs being passed on to outsiders. Of course, they objected. That's why Delicia participated in the contest. On the order of the Master Group, she was requested to win the championship. <gasps> It was rigged from the start! You knew Delicia's true identity from the start? It's a fix! Yes, in order for her to win, I told her Monsieur Mestel's tests and preferences. Why did you help her? I have to... In order to protect Monsieur Mestel and the Master Group. If the dog recipe is well given to another company, he would be reprimanded by the board. I wanted to return the recipes to the company in a way that Monsieur Master would accept. So it was due to Miss Hall's help that Delicia was able to reach the finals. 
Speaking of which, Mr. Dover wasn't a pastry chef either. He sure did well to make it to the finals considering he is just a sculptor. Yes, for him to be able to make such fine desserts despite being a sculptor. From the sherbet sculptures he made for the finals, it's clear to see he has great talent, but... Could he really have made that by himself? That is all I know. Is there anything else I can do so well? To save Mr. Master, she's trying to help as much as she can. May we perhaps have some more of that tea from yesterday, Miss Hall? I'm sure that would help us get on with the investigation. Yeah, I'd like some of Kate's tea, too. Right, understood. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, look at him. He's so smitten. Kate looks a bit better now. Oh, how sweet. All these instruments and probably nothing. What is this sign? The owner of the works in each room are written on this notice board. From the left, Mr. Master, Mr. Gustavia, Miss Delicia, and Mr. Dover. Incidentally, it would seem the board is also made of candy. <laughs> Alrighty. Do they plan to eat all this stuff when the contest is over? <laughs> Jesus. What are you investigating exactly? So, I'm testing the water in the fountain for foreign matter, sir. Have you found anything? It seems there's both chocolate and sherbet mixed in with the fountain water. It matches the chocolate from Jeff Master's room. And the sherbet that melted in Isaac Dover's room. They all share the same composition. The fountain water circulates through the streams that flow from each of the fountain each of the four rooms. Perhaps the melted sherbet flowed into the fountain. Also! Someone's blood was detected as well. What are you saying? How could there have been blood in the fountain? Detective Bad, please think back to our investigation of the crime scene. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. Ah, uh, definitely. Didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. The blood disappeared from the crime scene. Also, part of the treasure chest was missing too. Perhaps the blood in the fountain belongs to this person. Uh, I mean, it has to be, no, not him. Take that. Take that. The victim. Let's run a comparison with the blood on the murder weapon. Let's let's do that. That's usually what happens when you find blood. Oh, is that a good sound? I guess so. <laughs> it's a match. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. I wonder why the criminal spilled the victim's blood into the fountain. Good to know. I found a clue. I found the one clue I needed. <laughs> what a... What a great investigation we had there. We've gathered information about all the contestants. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. It says contestants, but when I first glanced at it, my mind was like, croissants. <laughs> We've gathered information about all the croissants. <laughs> that is, and that was not correct. And yet we still haven't heard Gustavia's side of the story. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? Ugh. Well, that was because. I still need to figure out how to do a German accent. <laughs> I will do it one day. Silence, Ignoramus. You are not to give that attorney the tiniest hint of information. Is that close enough? I change his voice every single time. Every single time. Because I just can't. <laughs> I need, like, a dialect coach. That's what I need. What exactly was he doing in Mr. Dover's room? And moreover, something is odd about his semi-final entry. A pastry chef bad at design and a sculptor skilled only at designing. It would have been extremely difficult for either of them to win the contest alone. Could it be that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's connection is... 
Detective Bad. We have a reason to suspect the actions of Dane Gustavia. Yeah. It is imperative that we find a way to contact him at once. Oh no, who is talking? I don't know who's talking. Oh, this conversation is most interesting. Is that Von Karma? There it is! Yep, I had to- I knew it. However, I cannot allow you to speak for Mr. Gustavia. Von Karma! I've already conducted my interrogation of him. It is not necessary for him to speak any further. Especially to a mere defense attorney. <laughs> but I will answer your questions in the first place. Is that- I'm getting there? Maybe? Maybe? I feel like it has to be really- I remember listening- I was listening to a podcast and somebody was talking about doing accents and then they were actually talking to a dialect coach and there was something about a German and like there are German characters in and this thing that they were trying to voice so they were like trying to figure out how to so I like I'm trying to think it's very closed off so I'm like trying to do that I just want to be really good at it you know it, 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 anyway <laughs> it seems von karma intends to prevent me from meeting Gustavia in person I understand in that case I have that one thing to ask you yes I would like to know the relationship between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Ooh, here we go! Their connection. Gustavia and Dover's relationship. It's obvious the only relationship they had was that they had happened to participate in the same contest. It's still too French, you know? I'm still- I'm- I'm dripping back into French. That's it. Hmm. There's nothing more to say. What? How are we supposed to understand anything from so little? We want Von Karma to divulge the truth. We have no choice but to present evidence. It's all too obvious that he's hiding something. That, that was really it, though. That was... Alright. Yes, that's exactly what I'm referring to. Are you sure Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover aren't linked in some way? Do not interrupt me with your baseless allegations. If you were in court, right? Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm like, every single time I get a little bit further and further away. If we were in court right now, I'd have you... You know what I'm also trying to think of? I'm trying to... There was like that one guy on Vine who had like a really good German accent and he like... He did a lot of like Captain America versus the Nazis like sketches. And... I'm trying to, like, remember how he spoke when he was doing the Nazi impression. Just, like... <laughs> not a good example, but, like, a good... Ex kind of a good example. I'm trying to... If Viva and Kosh right now, I'd have you held in contempt. I don't think Von Karma has that kind of authority, though. Von Karma is famous. Or having even the judges wrapped around his finger. What? That's insane! Seems like it won't be easy to go against him in court. Prosecutor Von Karma, please continue with your argument. It's obvious that... <clears throat> it's obvious that the... <clears throat> the only relationship they had was that they happened to participate in the same contest press. <clears throat> God! <laughs> It may have been a coincidence that the two participated in the same contest. However, you can't say for sure that they weren't connected. Defense attorney, how many times must I tell you? If you have no evidence to challenge my argument, be silent. I'll be silent for now then. So I need to show evidence of a link between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Your mouth may be silent, but your eyes tell me everything. What is it you want to say? I am gonna fucking figure it out one day. Does he want me to speak or be silent? It would seem Von Karma does not want to know Gustavia's real connection. Uh, maybe the connection between those two puts the prosecution at a disadvantage. Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover should have had something in common. I should enlighten Von Karma on this fact. Um, okay, 
so but tasted exactly the same Objection. boom baby music stopped which means it's right i wonder if that holds true in the newest installment of uh ace attorney prosecutor von karma i'd like you to look at these desserts look at how delicious they are <laughs> <laughs> these <laughs> the desserts were made for the contest semifinals. Don't you think these two have a particularly impressive design? <clears throat> Just what are you getting at? These two desserts were made by Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. I wouldn't exactly call Mr. De Gustavia's. The, 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 I wouldn't exact. I wouldn't exactly call Mr. Gustavia's design skills praiseworthy. Articulation is quite important, and you want to have decent diction when speaking. <laughs> Do you think the ace and ace attorney refers? Maybe. Some of them definitely have to be. Like, I'm sorry. There's, like, the amount of, like, straight ace attorney characters... Is few and far between. I won't say zero. There is definitely some. There are definitely a few characters that give off very hetero vibes. But like, yeah, there's definitely some asexuals in there. Like for sure, for sure. <laughs> Sorry, I just got. I just thought about that meme where it's just like, huh, when the attorney's ace. I don't know. I didn't play the game, <laughs> but I did play the game. So. Anyway, uh, and yet, for the semifinals, he was able to produce something comparable to Mr. Mr. Dover's. Is it comparable or comparable? I've always said comparable, but I know that it could be comparable. Hope y'all aren't, like, very picky about pronouncing. Anyway, comparable. That's how I say it. Furthermore, these two desserts have the exact same flavor. What are you trying to say? Maybe that's it. I need to like hard R, like hard, like, you know, hard R consonants. And then I need to do the V sound on the W because that's kind of how it's like said in German anyway. Like, and then there's, there's like a place in Germany, like worms. It's like worms, but it's actually verms. It's verms. City that, okay. Hard, hard consonants, the V for the Ws and Yes, there was something else. Oh See, this is like the ADHD that's coming out. Like I, anyway. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Not, not with that, not with that. We're not even going there. That is an absolute, mm, I had, mm, there was one time I had some asshole come into my chat with a freaking name like that and that was, it's just emphasis on the the sound that the R makes. My phrasing was bad there. I'm saying it's possible they collaborated with each other on their entries. Prosecutor Von Karma, please take a closer look at their desserts. At first glance, they may look completely different. No, they don't actually. There's, they even have a similar color scheme. But even though the designs are different, it's clear they were made from the same materials. Is that so? The same flavor and composition. It's impossible to dismiss their it's impossible to dismiss their similarity as coincidence. The very existence of these two dessert desserts point to a link between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Hmm. Since you already already know this much, I'll tell you the truth. That was more Russian. Why am I so bad at German accents? Did Von Karma know about their collaboration? However, what I'm go what I'm about to say is not going to help your case at all. Their real connection. If you want to know about Gustavia and Dilver's connection so badly, ah, uh, that's Russian. That's nope. Okay, I take it slow. If you want to know about Gustavia and Dover's connection so badly, I'll tell you. 
Last night, when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about his connection with... with... Dover. Until the day before... no. Until the day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. To get... together. Fuck. I don't know if I should do, like, the Z sound, because I know that sometimes... Ugh! I just need this case to end so I can get Von Karma out of the way so I don't have to fuck around with this stupid German accent anymore. You knew about their cooperation all this time, didn't you? Why would you conceal the truth? Objection. I would appreciate it if you didn't sully my reputation. Until I explain my points in court, I avoid- Oh my god. Until I explain my points in court, I avoid giving away all unnecessary details. <laughs> I was merely saving you time. How can he act like this and keep the truth from us? His concealment of the truth is something I simply cannot ignore. Okay. Hold it. It seems you knew about their real connection all along. Why did you hide it from us? I would never divulge information to a mere insect such as yourself so easily. I am not a fool like that detective, after all. I was just doing things my way. Hm. It was because you defied me that he gained this information in the first place. Last night when I interrogated, uh, oh. Last night. That was after Mr. Dover's sculptures had melted, right? Yes. Afterwards, I went to interrogate Gustavia personally. Interrogated by Von Karma? Ooh, sounds scary. <clears throat> Knowing Mr. Gustavia, I feel like he probably tried to meditate through the interrogation. The moment he closed his eyes, I snapped my fingers like so. To show him that no one would remain silent in front of me. And did that have any effect? Because of that, I was able to get a perfect confession out about his connection with Dover. With Dover. God damn it. Why do you think Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover collaborated? Why? Because Gustavia had poor design sense, and Dover was a novice at faking. Without the help of each other, they would never have made it through a single round. If so, what was their mutual goal? Why cooperate until the finals? The finals will be fought on our own merits, Gustavia said, and he ended their collaboration. Gustavia's goal was to obtain the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. It seems his pride as a pastry chef won out at the end. Victory in the finals would certainly have been hollow if, if, had he cheated. So he believes that their cooperation only went as far as the semifinals. But what if it really continued through the finals? Prosecutor Von Karma, could you explain their cooperation in a little more detail? <laughs> Very well. Concerning your statement about Mr. Gustavia's designs, I have no objections to that. I have no objections either. He's got no sense of style. But I saw him attempting to fashion my likeness with Kimdi. Hmm. Just thinking about it disgusts me. I actually liked his candy crafting, though. A novice pastry chef and one with no sense of design. It's only natural such pathetic specimens would associate with each other. Um, I feel like that's the part where I need to present evidence. But I don't...
Ah, fuck it, I'll press. They cooperated the day before, but not the day itself. That seems highly unnatural, don't you think? What I am saying is only the truth. How unnatural it is matters not! But weren't you unnaturally concealing that very same truth just a minute ago? There must have been a reason he hid this fact from us. Mr. Master said Mr. Dover was the favorite to win at the finals. Which means it must have still been cooperating with Mr. Gustavia at the time, right? Yes, that is what I believe. I must have evidence that proves that they still cooperated during the finals. Do I, though? Uh... Oh, jeez. Semi-finals designs... You say that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover did not collaborate during the finals. Oh, there's a midna underneath my feet. Oh, so soft. That's strange. Delicia testified that Dover's sherbet was most delicious. Being a novice chef, I doubt he could have done that all, all that by himself. Perhaps the two of them cooperated during the finals as well. Defense attorney, how many times do I have to tell you? Delicia Scone's subjective opinion cannot be admitted as evidence. There's still a chance that a novice chef could- That's still French. I'm so bad at this. There's still a chance that a novice chef could make something tasty. I'm sorry I keep giving up. <laughs> My wife is an amateur, yet her cooking rivals that of world-class chefs. Aw, oh, at least he's good- Wait, he has a wife? Hold on, wait a minute. Who is his wife? Who is his wife? Wait a minute. But who is his wife? Wait, hold on. I gotta look this up. Because I didn't see a wife in the anime either. Wait. Uh. Oh shit, I forgot his. What is it, like Vincent Von Karma or something? No, that's not it. Sally. Sally Von Karma. <laughs> Von Karma. Manfred! Oh my god. <laughs> Vincent. I was thinking Vincent Van Gogh and I Jesus. Uh wait, hold on. Who is Francisca von Karma's mother? Um That's Manfred is not her mother. Manfred is her father. Uh God, okay. Manfred von Karma wife. Okay, I'm on the wiki. I'm on the wiki right now. Nothing. I got nothing right now. Hold on. German family. Uh huh. Late prosecutor Manfred Von Karma. Uh huh. Presumably he had no other child than Francisca, of course. I'm not seeing this! What- what is- hold on- I- I need to know! I need to know who- who his wife is! I mean, there's a screenshot of the, uh... Oh my god, there's a Reddit post with uh, literally a screenshot of this line right here. Oh, my wife is an amateur. <laughs> it's from Reddit, and somebody said, 
For everyone that thinks Von Karma is purely is a purely bad guy, at least he's a good husband. But who is his wife? I need to know. I want to know. Can you show me? What happened? There's just no answer to this! Wait, oh wait, Francisca is his granddaughter, right? Wait, no, hold on, what? Francisca is her daughter, is it, sorry, his daughter, right? Not his granddaughter. Now I'm getting confused about the lore. No, Francisca is his daughter. Wait, whoa, I just learned a fun fact. Maybe there's a hole in that. <laughs> That's a hole in the test. You're right, maybe. Apparently, it had been confirmed by the localization team that Manfred actually has two daughters, one of which is Francisca, but another is just like another unnamed daughter who also has a child, which means that yes, Manfred has a granddaughter. Holy crap! I, he's got a wow. Okay, he's got a white. He's got a full fucking family. It wasn't just. Anyway, I can't. I can't. This is news to me. This is absolute news to me. Wow. What a twist in the lore. A twisty, turdy, topsy turvy, and all kinds of curvy. Anyway, this is totally off on a tangent. Um, my wife is an amateur, yet her cooking rivals that of world-class chefs. How is that not a subjective opinion? Moreover, even if you take this pharmacist's testimony to be true, it changes nothing. She also mentions that a part of his sherbet was very salty. Which means you can hardly call his entry for the finals perfect. Just humble bragging about his wife. Which is like evidence of a good partner. I feel like we should all humble brag about significant others. And I'm glad that he... He has a wife. He has a wife. I want to know who his wife is. I need... Somebody... Somebody point me to that fanfic. I want to read it. I will make it true in my mind. I need... I need it. Fuck it, I'll write it. I'll write the fanfic about Von Karma's wife and his family tree. This is insane. <laughs> I did not know. This it's just slipped in there, just like so casually dropped as if like, oh yeah, of course, it's common knowledge. Like, wait a minute. There's like whole fucking headcanons about Apollo and headcanons about Francisca and Edgeware. Th this, I need to know. <laughs> But, no more objections. Is there no way I can prove their collaboration? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something that's been bugging me. Hmm, what is it? The desserts Mr. Dover made for the finals would have taken a long time to make, right? Indeed, they were frozen sculptures after all. How would he have had the time to sculpt it after it was frozen? Let alone help Mr. Gustavia with his design as well. The way I see it, just waiting for the sherbet to freeze would have used up all his time. Hmm, just how was he able to make those sherbet sculptures? Super noir color flick thingy. <laughs> Raymond, you may have a promising future after all. Sweet baby Ray! Sweet baby Ray to, the, to save the day! 
Thanks to you, I have noticed one more possibility. Please quit eating your paper. Please tell me you broke that habit because that is... That cannot be good for your digestive tract. Tract. Track? Kind of both. I meant to say tract, though. It's technically tract. T-R-A-C-T. Anywho, that's right. Mr. Dover's sherbet needed time to freeze properly. <clears throat> and the contest's time limit would not have been enough. The method Mr. Dover used to make his sherbet within the time limit was... It was prepared in advance! Hi, Midna. Hello. Oh, sweet snuggle. Oh my gosh, she was so needy when I got home from work. She... <laughs> I, um... I... I went... It was like a table. I, I built a table for my kitchen. And then I was walking, and I set some stuff down, and I turned around, and I dropped something on the floor, so I bent over to get it. And she had jumped up on the table, and then just jumped onto me. And then I, like, tried to, like, bend over a little further, like, on my side, so she could, like, slip off gently and just get on the ground. And she, like, gyroscopically figured out how to get even further onto my back. And just kept- she stood on my shoulder like a parrot for- for a solid minute. And then she crawled on my arm and tried to fall asleep. And she's like, I- I go to- I take nap here. And I'm like, no, Minda, you cannot take a nap on my arm. I'm in the middle of something. Please. And then she meowed at me when I- when I put her back on the ground. Because she's so needy. So needy. So needy. So needy. Aren't ya? Look at this little creature. She's just so lovey. No, you love attention, don't you? You love attention. All the attention. <laughs> all right, go on. <clears throat> if the sherbet was prepared in advance, all he'd need to do was sculpt it. You, just what are you mumbling about? Please excuse me, I've finally realized your earlier view was correct huh M mr edgeworth what are you doing oh so you're finally admitting defeat no all i am admitting to is the tr is the truth of one of your statements dover and gustavia's collaboration lasted only until the day before the finals it is exactly as you said they only cooperated until the day before the finals. The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. <laughs> That's right. So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Then... Why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? The views of the dead are of no concern to me. If you aren't going to answer that, I'll need to get in touch with Mr. Gustavia himself. Or was your interrogation not quite as thorough as you claim? Ooh, ooh, oh, we got him. Oh, we got him now. <gasps> you, Edgrit. You dare mock me? That was not my intention. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. That was not my intention, but I do have a problem with your attitude. Oh my god, wait, hold on. I gotta... <clears throat> hold on. Hold on just for this. Yeah, see? That was not my intention, but I do have a problem with your attitude, Sonny. <laughs> oh, you're so noir. I love it. Ah, I want to give a... <laughs> I want you to give us a clear reason why we can't speak to Mr. Gustavia in person. <laughs> clear reason. Gustavia and Dover's collaboration has no bearing on this case. Maybe it's like I'm saying this, which is like more of a French, but if I said this, this, like if I, I gotta, I will figure out the intricacies, the delicate intricacies of a German accent. You claim their collaboration is irrelevant? If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour instead of sweet, I'm just kidding, it could serve as motive for murder. You're saying that Gustavia and Dover's collaboration was linked to the murder. Was, wait, the, f 
The motive for the murder. If that was the case, why did he not conceal it? After all, we, the, <clears throat> we found out about this collaboration. This, 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 this collaboration from Gustavia himself. If you really are a lawyer, show us evidence that gives us a reason to suspect Gustavia. Only one of Mr. Gustavia's actions has been suspicious so far. Doubtless Von Karma already knows of this fact. This could be a trap by Von Karma. Hmm. What's wrong, defense attorney? Not going to answer. But I mustn't back down now. Mr. Gustavia sneaked into Mr. Sneaked? Snuck into Mr. Dover's room. His sneaked, I guess, is technically correct, too, but I'm being, I'm being a... I make us a, a nitpicky person. I, Mr. Gustavia sneaked into Mr. Dover's room. His reasons for this are currently unclear. But the very fact he secretly entered the victim's room is reason enough to suspect him. If that's the extent of it, I can dispel those... Those... I can expel those... I can dispel those doubts. I knew it. It was was it a trap after all? I was intending to save this for the courtroom, but I'll make a special exception. We wouldn't want to prolong the trial with unnecessary information, would we? Take a look at this. Ah! Oh! This is oh! Look at them! This is a photo of Gustavi and Do Dover and their sons. My boy! <laughs> Gustavia entered Dover's room in order to steal this pro this- <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's- okay. Gustavia entered Dover's room in order to steal this photo. To steal this photo. That was not- whatever. It seems their sons attend the same elementary school. Apparently, he thought that is- what am I doing right now? What am I doing? Apparently, he thought that he'd been suspect- he'd be suspected if people found out he and Dover were acquainted. Yes, just like you're doing now. <laughs> there is nothing suspicious about Gustavia's actions. No further room for argument. No! No! He's still adamant on not letting us meet with Mr. Gustavia. I have an investigation to return to. I have no more time to waste on the likes of you. Curse that Von Karma! Calling us a waste of time! What should we do, Mr. Edgeworth? At this rate, Master Jeff will be... Von Karma is... busy? Of course. Why would he be so busy? Both the body and murder weapon have been found, and he already has his suspect. Hi! Hi, Red Camel! <laughs> the police should have more than enough evidence to prove Mr. Master's guilt. If that's the case, then why is Von Karma still investigating the crime scene? Because he knows something! Mr. Edgeworth, is there something wrong? It seems I have been overlooking a matter of vital importance. Considering that he already has the evidence he needs to convict Mr. Master, I feel that Von Karma isn't as composed as he should be. He didn't even tell Detective Bad the full results of the investigation. Yeah. Von Karma's a bit on edge at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Ooh. Oh, that's a clue now. No autopsy report. Furthermore, something banished from the crime scene. Excuse me. Goodness gracious. And we still don't know why. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. We're gonna go over the bloodstain. Again. We're going over the bloodstain. Yep. Bloodstain disappeared. Logic! Bing! And he definitely didn't get any reports about it. 
But the strangest thing we found wasn't in Mr. Master's room at all. It's a match. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. Blood in the water. Mr. Dover's blood vanished from Mr. Master's room and somehow found its way into the fountain. What does this mean? Oh, logic time! Um, can we connect those? Yes. Yes! Although the victim's blood wasn't found in, the mis in Mr. Master's room, it was detected in the water fountain. There would be no need for the killer to conceal the blood stains after the body was found. It's unnat- uh, It's unnatural that only the blood sta- That only the blood stains that were found with the body disappeared. Unless the body was moved, the blood would have- Would have still remained on the chocolate. Don't tell me. Someone removed the body and then erased the blood stains? What? Uh, these are the only two that I have, so I have to connect them. And if it's still wrong, then I don't know what to do. Okay, good, that's correct. <laughs> it's possible that the body was removed from the crime scene. And the autopsy report still has not arrived. Although, we have a murder weapon and a suspect, we don't know much about the body. I've been investigating under the assumption that the body had been discovered. Perhaps, this assumption was wrong from the very beginning. Why didn't Von Karma give Detective Bad the autopsy report? To understand that, yes. I must turn my logic around! My thinking shouldn't be, why is Von Karma hiding information about the body? But rather, what if Von Karma doesn't even have the information to begin with? What happens if I think of it like that? It's possible that the body wasn't removed by the police for the autopsy. It was moved and hidden by the real killer! Mr. Edgeworth! I've heard many dark rumors surrounding Von Karma. He's a prosecutor who forges evidence, fabricates testimonies, and makes backroom deals. Yeah, I heard that too, but what does that have to do with this? I try to avoid judging others based on rumors, as we all should. And I didn't let those rumors influence my opinion on Von Karma until today. It seems... He is a man who would distort the truth. Distort the truth? You don't mean forgery. I do. And I can't allow him to get away with this. Well, we gonna get him. I must return to the prosecutor's office for now, not avert to that attorney. Roger. Hey. Hold it! Oh, yes! Oh, that's just what I wanted to hear. See, see, I, I just want to point that out. That was an excellent use of the hold it. I swear to God, every time something like that happens in like Ace, like the Ace Attorney proper, like mainline, it's always objection, which I get that the objection is like iconic. I get it. It's very hip. It's very now. But, um,. Literally, they have a hold it. And this would abs- This is the perfect opportunity. Like, hold on. Wait a minute. Don't. Don't leave. Hold. Hold it. Literally. So, I- It always makes me angry when I see shit like that and they don't use hold it. They got it. They got it. They got it. It's so good. Anyway. These investigations, like, little spin-off games are criminally underrated. Anywho. What do you want, defense attorney? I want to know the truth that you've been hiding. Fool! Are you trying to mislead the police's of its investigation again? If you interfere with the investigation anymore, I'll be forced to reprimand you myself. Objection! Objection! Police! No! My objection is with you! What? Isn't it a prosecutor's job- Okay, Midduck. <laughs> Oh, hello, baby. How about you get on my shoulder? Come on. You can do it. I know you can do it. There you go. See? You're so talented. Look at that. Anyway. Oh, oh, that's my shoulder. That's like my back shoulder. That's not the shoulder I was talking about. Okay, and you're down. 
All right. <laughs> Why don't you go get yourself something to eat? <laughs> we tried. I tried, y'all. <clears throat> Isn't it the prosecutor's job to ensure justice for criminals? <clears throat> what are you saying? What is that? What's that like weird? Did I just go like Sean Connery Bond kind of? Anyway. I have no time to, de to debate the job of the prosecutor with you. However, I will tell you one thing. My job is to ensure all those I prosecute are found guilty. Before the perfect proof, there can be no room for doubt. Objection. And to find that perfect proof, you would even stoop to forgery? Ha! I was wondering what you were going on about. You intend to accuse me of forgery, don't you? Yes. And it's for that reason, you did not allow Detective Bad to investigate. Ooh, we got him! What do you mean? The real reason Detective Bad wasn't investigating was not so he could keep an eye on us. It was to hide the fact you never found the body. What? They never found the body? Oh. You cretins! You will cease with these ludicrous accusations. I will not tolerate any further insults. In what am I doing? In that case, let us verify the body. If you do, we will have evidence that shows whether I am right or not. <sighs> the burden of proof falls on you, defense attorney. I have no reason to comply with your baseless conjecture. Objection. You must have noticed it too. The lack of blood stains at the crime scene. So why did the blood vanish? And more importantly, where did it go? Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> Foolishness. Why would anyone erase just the blood in the chest that, can, that, in the chest that contains the body? Yes, that's exactly right. If the body had been found there, the disappearing blood stains would have no meaning at all. However, what if the body was already gone? To erase the traces of the body being there, one would have to get rid of the blood stains as well. Why make such a fuss over those blood stains? It seems like a trivial de detail to me. Or are you saying that you can show me where those blood stains went? Oh, I'm starting to get it a little bit. I hope I don't lose it. Maybe I should just, like, loosen it up, you know? Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm focused too on it. Yeah. Anyway. In court, everything must be said with evidence. Is, isn't that right, Von Karma? In that case, I'll show you the evidence supporting my claim. Which piece of evidence shows where the blood in the Mr. Master's room went? Uh, the water? Is it the water from the fountain? The water from the fountain. Boop. <laughs> Okay, okay. I was like, he's doing like a little adjustment thing, so I have to assume that something is correct, because I feel like he would just kind of get insulted by Von Karma. Anyway, there were traces of the victim's blood found in the fountain. Traces of Mr. Master's chocolate were also found in this very fountain. In other words, the blood was washed down the stream, which then flowed into the fountain. All of this points to only one possibility. After the body was removed, someone erased the bloodstains. Von Karma. Where was the body really found? If you really found the body, you should be able to answer. You... How... How do you know this information? How do you know the results of the water composition test on the fountain? Because I allowed them to investigate. Bad! Always a thorn in my side. From here on out, I will not allow you to associate any further with this case. Hmm. It's not like you were letting me do much anyway. Von Karma, you still haven't answered my question. Or are you admitting to the fact that you didn't find the body after all? You say I never found the body. Where's your evidence? He's never going to confess. I have nothing further to say to you. Gregory Edgeworth, this matter will be... 
Don't me try that again. I really could have, I really could have nailed that if I hadn't fucked that up. Anyway. Gregory Edgeverse. Is this matter for you to... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to get this... This matter will be decided in court. <laughs> this is what I was trying to say so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, anyway. We'll see just how well your logic holds up there. Von Karma. I know your methods are wrong. I promise without fail, I will expose the truth you've hidden. Dun dun dun. Bye. Bye. Detective Bad, I'm sorry. It's because you let me investigate that. No. This is bound to happen, sooner or later. This is also the first time I've been restricted in my investigation. Your theory that they never found the body sounds pretty close to the mark. That I will make clearer in court. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Even though I'm no longer in charge of this case. Then, though I'm very sorry about this, I have one more favor to ask of you. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? I wanna know too! Oh, sweet baby Ray. <laughs> this will be my trump card in court. The information I've gathered up until now should be enough to prove Mr. Master's innocence. But if all else fails, I'll have this ready. Yo, trump card? <laughs> You'll see at the trial. Wow, I'll get to be at the trial too. Of course, you are my assistant after all. <laughs> I'll be an ace attorney too next year. Von Karma will never beat the two of us. He said the title, he said the title. Roll credits, I'm just kidding. Right, <laughs> although I hope to clear Mr. Master's name before you become a lawyer. If Von Karma is to be my opponent, he'll want the trial ended in a day. That's right, we have to save Master Jeff as fast as we can. After all, this is you we're talking about. I'm sure you'll beat Von Karma. Oh no. Oh my god, is this the case of Legion of <laughs> Jeff Master alone in a dark cell arrested on false charges. I must expose Von Karma's lies if I'm to save him. And now we go back to the present. And now we go back to the present. To be continued. And by to be continued, I mean right now. <laughs> save. Save state. Save state. I'm gonna do a save state twice. And now a third time. Just for good measure. April 2nd, the Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. Thank God I don't have to do Von Karma's voice for a little while. <clears throat> and that's all Uncle Ray knows about the I 7 incident. Now we got OG, sweet baby Ray. S sweet and spicy baby Ray. What is. Oh, fuck. What was it? Spicy. Ah, shit, I can't remember what I what I called the uh, the older one. It was like a different flavor of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Anyway, so that's what happened in my father's last case. Oh my god, it was this father's last case! That was the- Oh god! This- <clears throat> Anyway, <clears throat> the truth of the I-7 incident. What happened at the trial? In the end, Von Karma defeated us. Uh, so you couldn't prove Mr. Master's innocence? We had gathered plenty of evidence to prove it, but Von Kama was even more despicable than we thought. He was a prosecutor who would do anything for his guilty verdict. That's right, and he really did use any means necessary. Because of this, the trial dragged on for about a year until it finally reached a conclusion. I'll never forget that fateful day when the judgment was passed down, the 28th of December. 
It's April now, so... It's been a little over 17 years. How time flies. The 28th of December, 17 years ago. I was watching from the gallery that day. Oh, remember DL6, remember DL6. Remember DL6. Before the trial, your old man noticed that Mr. Master was acting strangely. He was at the breaking point, both mentally and physically. He wanted to be found guilty. No! Mr. Master didn't fake a confession, did he? Yeah. That was what Von Kama was aiming at for, or aiming for from the start. Oh, that's fucking rough. When your old man tried to expose the fact that the body had not been found, Von Kama used the power of his police cronies to quash that argument. He even went as far as to prepare a fake autopsy report. Oh my god. Oh my god. Then, they made Mr. Master give a false testimony and confess to being an accomplice. <clears throat> Excuse me. With Mr. Master's confession, the situation quickly became dire. But, your man had a trump card up his sleeve. Was that the trump card he was talking to Detective Bat about? Yeah, that trump card was to be our insurance in case Mr. Master confessed. He had asked Detective Bad to have Mr. Master's interrogation recorded. Detective Bad wanted to know the truth too, huh? After he was dropped from the investigation, he never stopped caring about the case. Even when he was involved with other large cases, he really was the definition of a true detective. Yes! I love Detective Bad! Oh my god! Look! Look! <laughs> I just- the lore! The lore, it hurts my heart. Anyway. The defense presented the recording, which proved that the confession was forced. Well, it seems the detective in charge of the initial investigation and interrogation, Rip Lacer, took all of the blame and was charged and dismissed. Rip, Rip Lacer. Rip, Lace, Rip Lacer. Replacer. Rip, replaced. Replacer. It's so dramatic. They do these, they do this thing where it's like such a dramatic moment and then they're just like, the stupidest, stupidest pun name. I can't, anyway. <laughs> Rip Lacer. Took all of the blame and was charged just been. It really breaks you out of it. That's kind of why I like it. Um, Still, at the trial, your old man exposed Von Karma's corruption, and Von Karma received his first penalty from then-chief prosecutor. The only penalty in his 40 years of prosecution. Oh, wait, that was Edgeworth. My bad. <laughs> I gave him a southern accent for a minute. However, Mr. Master didn't want the trial to continue any longer. And the curtains closed on the trial that day with the verdict of guilty. My memory of that time is fuzzy, but I was also there, watching my father's final trial. And I think his final regret became my own. Your old man wanted a retrial to prove Master's innocence, but he passed on before he could fulfill his wish. Yeah, thanks to someone! After getting entangled in another case. Oh God, why? No, oh. My heart, my heart. DL6, DL6. It breaks my heart even now that I didn't return home with him that day. 
And what's more, to blind myself from my own worthlessness. <gasps> no! No! Oh, but look at baby Edgeworth. Look at him. Look at, he's so handsome, but also like sad because he's, you know, look, he's like freaking spitting image of asshole over there. But, oh! Look at him. He's so handsome. He's so handsome. He's a handsome boy. Here comes the boy. Uncle Ray put all of his. his <laughs> Uncle. God damn it. Let's try that again. Run it back. Uncle Ray put all of his hatred on you as a traitor for being Von Kama's pupil. Hindsight's 2020. I'm sorry. Don't be. It's natural you would hate me. After I became a prosecutor, I was able to get Von Karma to show me the case file. Mr. Master was found guilty for the murder of Isaac Dover. Uh, that's not right. Wasn't Mr. Master found guilty of being an accomplice? But this case file says guilty of murder. There shouldn't be anything unresolved in that in the cases handled by Manfred von Karma. Wait, can I take a look at that file? It looks like the charges have been rewritten. What? Look at this. Oh god. Jeffrey Master 39 created the dessert contest. The victim's body was found. After his own confession, he was convicted as an accomplice to the murder. The charge is accomplice to murder. This is a copy of the original case file I received from the courts. Why would the charge be altered? This file was given to you by Von Kama, right? Maybe he just didn't want you to know the truth, since you're Gregory's son. He would have wanted to avoid another retrial before the statute of limitations ran out, after all. So what I had come to believe back then had all been a lie. Well, my, my guy. A lot of what you knew back then was a lie, and I think we kind of unpacked that across the, uh, the series of the mainline Ace Attorney games. Um, a lot. A lot. A lot. If you didn't know about it, just make sure you know it from now on. Statute of limitations is long expired, but the truth still sleeps right here. After your old man passed away, Uncle Ray took over as Mr. Master's defense attorney. Although Von Karma also had another prosecutor take over the case. Perhaps the thought that since his opponent was a rookie, he didn't even need to turn up. In the end, the real killer was never found, and Mr. Master was found guilty. No! Is there nothing we can do even now? Since the killer was never found, he can't withdraw his confession. I found out after the trial that Mr. Master made a deal with Von Karma because Von Karma had threatened him. If you don't confess, Catherine Hall will be held under the same charges. That's terrible! I don't think Mr. Master really thought that Kate was the killer. I do. But to protect her, he faked a confession. Miles, on the day that nightly boy was killed, why do you think Uncle Ray was at the prison? Ah, uh, I see. You went to see Mr. Master, didn't you? I said I'd visit him every day. I couldn't keep that promise, but I asked Katie Pie to look in on him while I, I asked Katie Pie to look in on him for me when I could. Through rain or snow, she went every single day without fail. But nothing has changed, and Mr. Master still serves his punishment. That's so sad. Isn't there anything we can do? No. <laughs> That's why I came here. Because I knew those ice sculptures would be on display here today. So, what are you gonna do, Miles? I am a prosecutor. My position is different from you and my father. Miles. But, 
moving past my position, what I want as Miles Edgeworth is to know the truth of these two cases. It is for that reason that I am here. Yes, Miles! Oh, we'd love to see it! <laughs> you really are your father's son. Well then, if that's what you've decided, I'll support you all the way. I'd better leave the I-7 documents and evidence with you then. All right, here are the documents. By the way, the pots in orange are Uncle Ray's old notes. Okay, cool, neat. <clears throat> Thank you. And now, here's the I-7 incident. E I-7 evidence. There's a lot, so make sure you look it over while you investigate. Hint, hint to the player, don't ignore this. <laughs> Loud and clear. Received a lot of I-7 incident. E evidence. Evidence. Not incident. Evidence. From the incident. From Mr. Shields. Hmm. Right. I'll check through it later. I'm gonna check through it right now. If it will let me. Yes, it will. Cool. Um, okay. I want to check this. Let's see. What does it say? Um, okay. Case summary. Time of death. Christmas Eve 2000. 18 years ago. At this point, 21 years ago. I feel so old. <laughs> um, I shouldn't, though. I'm only 25. <laughs> Uh, crime scene, Jeffrey Master's room, Mr. Master's mansion, murder weapon was a rock salt lamp, Manfred Bod Karma, Gregory Edward. The statute of limitations ran out on December 24th, three years ago. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Accomplice to murder, Isaac Dover. His true identity is the famous French sculptor, French sculptor Pierre Hoquet. Uh, he entered the contest as a cake designer, but his body was found in the defendant's room. The cause of death was blunt trauma to the head. Because the victim's body vanished, there appears to be no autopsy report. Is that the true reason? And that's the picture. Cool. Um, and then what else we got? Uh, art gallery pamphlet. Um, uh, the family photo. Oh, look at him. So cute. Parent care day. I wonder which son is whose. I'm I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is Mr. Gustavi's son and this is Dover's son, which is kind of funny, but anywho, I guess it's not really relevant right now. It probably will become relevant, um, and then that's just sort of the other stuff. Rock salt lamp, frame finger marks. Wait, can I? Can I, like, actually look at the lamp? Oh, no, I can only look at a picture. Okay. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. Alrighty. Anywho. <clears throat> anyway, there are so many strange things about this case. Indeed. Those involved in the case 18 years ago have reunited and another incident occurs. Which means the killer is still at large. Speaking of a killer being at large, um, I learned today that there's apparently a serial killer that's, like wreaking havoc on the Atlanta area right now, and it's really scary. So. My- one of my coworkers was like, hey, just, like, be aware, like, apparently this person's been, like, moving through the metro Atlanta area. Just be aware of your surroundings. And I was like, Well, well, look who's inside again. Yes, Rin Camo. What? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, you got a thing? Okay. Uh, boobity bop. Let's open up my Discord real quick, like. Replicas of the statues from 18 years ago were displayed in the Winter Palace and. Discord? Doop a doop doop dap deep da. Ooh! Ooh! I love her! She's like. She like. She looks like Candy Swirl. What is. Wait, what is it? What's her name? I love this art. It's so cute. Either Warlock Bard or the Softest Barbarian. Absolutely love it. I'm on board. I also like the Cracked Horn. Haven't named her yet. I can I could suggest a few, but I don't want to I don't want to like impose anything. I just really think she would look 
I, I just I just think she looks like candy. Okay. <laughs> I will later. <laughs> I think that's a I I really like her design. I like her socks too. Got flowers on them. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Love you too. Ah, uh, L Y. Ah, uh, L Y. Um. Oh God, I've so, so many tabs open. Blah. Uh, replicas of the statues from 18 years ago were displayed in the Winter Palace, and poison gas was released in the Autumn Palace, which had been disguised as the Winter Palace. The two chemicals in the Pisces case, Normalium and Fatalium, were mixed, causing an outbreak of poison gas. The victim of the poison gas was Dane Gustavia, a person involved in the I-7 incident. Because he was unconscious, he received treatment in the Zodiac Art Gallery's infirmary. Finally, the dead body found floating in the fountain. I was gonna say, like, was the dead body just, like, there the whole time? Because, that, like, that was, that was the point where it was like, oh, we found the blood and we found the chocolate in the fountain. But there's, like, no way that it was preserved. Do you think they just, like, dropped him there again? Oh god, I'm really hoping that he wasn't just, like, hanging out there the whole time. And once again, the ice sculptures have melted. There are deep connections between the two cases. It's possible there are still some clues left from 18 years ago. Right, let's get started. Objection. Oh god. Just one second. Don't tell me you've forgotten about me. Didn't I tell you that I'm the one in charge of this case? Prosecutor Edgeworth, if you intend to continue disrupting Sebastian's investigation. The word... Oh shit, that was nice! Did you hear that sound effect? <laughs> the word guilty will be added to your PIC report. What does she mean, guilty? Please allow me to, to assist in your investigation as before. I appreciate your proposal, but I'm afraid I must overrule it. That was fast. Even though we're short on hands to identify the victim right now, it's only a matter of time until we figure it out. In that case, I shall take that load off your shoulders at once. Regarding the identity of the unidentified body, one person comes to mind. Really? Then tell us! <laughs> Very well. Duh, it's Isaac Dover. Why would it be literally anybody else? Like, why? It's not just the sculptures that may have made a comeback from the incident 18 years ago. The body in the fountain is... Boom. It's likely that the identity of the body is the victim of the murder that occurred here 18 years ago. Isaac Dover. Uh, it's Isaac's body! Hey! Who's that? I've never heard of him. Mr. Isaac Dover. A truly great sculptor. But he was better known as Pierre Gay. The sculptures on display here in the museum are all his creations. Ah, uh, so in other words, that sculptor was the best. Somehow, I feel a strong kinship to him. I'm totes a Pierre Hokey Kenny. I kin him on Neen. I hate this. <laughs> I love it. I don't don't misunderstand me. I definitely love it. Anyway. And who was the victim in the I-7 incident? She knew about the I-7 incident? Prosecutor Edgeworth, the I-7 incident occurred 18 years ago. And what's more, the police reported the removal of the body. That's what's on the record. But I wonder if that was really the truth. What do you say? The defense attorney in the I-7 incident claimed that the body was never found. Not that the prosecution would ever admit to such a thing. Ooh. 
Hello? <laughs> really? Is something wrong, Sebastian? No, it's just... They said that they know who the victim is. Oh. It's just as that prosecutor says. It's Dover. No. It can't be. Hm. It would seem my father's suspicions were correct. What is it, Judge Courtney? Have you finally realized that I'm much more helpful than Mr. DeBest? Hey! You... Are you trying to steal the best position for yourself? I'm doing no such thing. I just want to know the truth. And for that to happen, we need to cooperate, no? The truth is none of your concern. Objection. Ooh, I don't think that's true, Courtney Pie. You again. Uncle Ray assisted the defense attorney involved in the I-7 incident. The one who claimed that Mr. Dover's body was never found. The prosecution denied it at the time, but now the body has been discovered here. In other words, the I-7 investigation was unjust. And isn't it the duty of the PIC to investigate corrupt prosecutors? Ugh. Then wouldn't you want to cooperate with those who are involved in the case? Unless you have an ulterior motive. We calling her out! Now that I think about it, Judge Courtney knew about the I-7 incident, so it would seem she really is here because of the PIC. Even if you're related to the incident, I don't see how Prosecutor Edgeworth is. He is the son of the attorney in that case and a t prosecutor taught by Von Karma himself. And what's more, he was in the audience at the I-7 trial. I'm sure there are many points he can enlighten us on. Very well. I will allow you to cooperate. However, your investigation must not hinder the other investigators. The Winter Palace is currently being investigated, but the Fountain Patio is open to you. That's my corner pie, now we're talking. As thanks, I will allow you to have a hug with Uncle Ray. And she will murder you with her gavel. Overruled! If I feel your cooperation isn't needed, I will have to ask you to leave. Understood. Uh, isn't that great, Miles? Oh, sorry, whoops. <laughs> that was not sarcastic. He's actually being serious. <clears throat> isn't that great, Miles? Now we can start investigating. You really helped us there. <laughs> Uncle Ray did it all for himself. <laughs> all right, Uncle Ray's going to investigate too, so let me know if you figure something out. Got it. Alrighty. Right then. Okay, let's begin the investigation. Okay, let's do this. We still don't know where Mr. Dover's body and the Normalium were hidden. We don't have enough information to go on. You're right. Our first priority is the Normalium. Well, Normalium is used in washing detergents, paints, and the like. If, if I recall, it's a red liquid with a minty aroma. Cool, I needed that reminder because I absolutely would not have remembered that. Well then, let's get looking for that Normalium. Begin investigation! Uh, let's talk to Delicia. Maybe she knows something. Oi, how's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Hoi! Not quite, actually. We haven't found any clues yet. You're doing it wrong. Oi is only used when you're showing someone something. Also, Yessie is used to confirm and is also a greeting. Eep is used when you're afraid. Uh. Fi is used when you don't like something. Oi is used when you're calling someone. Mm hmm, I see. I didn't know it was that deep. Oi, oi, Mr. Edgeworth, did you catch all of that? Okay, be more serious. Yessie. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. I don't want to talk to them. They're assholes. Um, let's look at these statues here. They're statues of a couple in Roman costume. Are these by Pierre OK too? I think these were made in the middle years of his life, at the height of his fame. He modeled them after the Roman gods, <clears throat> at the request of his beloved wife. <clears throat> the piece is entitled 
Venus, the goddess of beauty, and her manservant. And her manservant! <laughs> I think it's obvious who wore the pants in that relationship. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's a statue of a brave warrior fighting a snake. Was this also made by Pierre Hoquet? It appears to be one of his early works when he was enamored with fantasy and myths. The statue represents his heroic resolution to oppose hopeless difficulties in his youth. The title is... The Math Chest. <laughs> Bruh, same. Same. Hard same. I know that feeling all too well. <laughs> Me and Kay are the same person. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. I mean to... Oh, I guess that's... I thought they were talking about the angel. I'm an idiot. I'm blind. Uh, I'm gonna run over here. What is this? Sculptures of a man with the face of a moon and a woman with the face of a sun. The man looks kind of gloomy, though. Were these also made by Pierre OK? Yes, it seems he made these in his youth when he was enthralled with the stars. The piece likens the relationship between the moon and the sun to something closer to home. The piece is entitled... My parrots. <laughs> Aw. I think we know who wore the pants in that marriage. Wow. Uh, what's this over here? They're statues of a couple in Roman costume. Are these- wait. Are, wait, uh, are those the same? Oh, I should look at this, because that's like the teapot. That's the tea set. Oh my gosh! Those are super adorable. I, I know that the teapot was the moon, and there was, like, I knew that there were star cups, but I didn't think they looked like that. That's a, Oh, wait, what is that material? On, the, on this service cart, Miss Hall has prepared her tea set. According to the pamphlet, the museum is also famous for its tea. Yes, it certainly had a flavorful, rich taste. Hmm, it seems this tea set was also made by Mr. Dover. Oh, so the tea set was made by the victim. Let's take a closer look. What is this? That looks like- that looks like some sort of chemical. Oh, that's- okay. There is a container with Ceylon tea leaves in it. To prevent exposure to sunlight and moisture, the container is airtight and made of tin. This should help preserve the quality of the tea leaves. Ooh, okay. Fancy. There's not a single stain on this pure white tablecloth. Take hold of the edge, focus your mind, then in one go, pull! Okay. I hope you're not planning to do anything bad. <laughs> Kay, if what I think is happening is happening, it better not be. <laughs> no, don't worry. Even if I fail, the tablecloth would just be dyed a nice black a la tea. The tablecloth looks better white. Please refrain from changing it. I wonder about that. It might look better in another color, like pink or blue. <laughs> oh, hello. Or tea. I love these, these teacups. So this tea set was made by Isaac Dover. Fancy stuff, huh? Okay, I'd say this tea set is worth thousands of dollars. Please be careful with it. Eh? Uh, this tea set is, a, is such a treasure? Please don't look so excited. If I recall correctly, Miss Hall was a huge fan of Mr. Dover. Aha! Teapot data. The best kind of data. Oh god, what voice did I give him? Hey, Edgy! What is it? Be careful with that teapot! Why must I be warned of him? Warned by him of all people? Madame and Messieurs. Oh, I want to cosplay her so bad. Look at her! Glorious! Glorious! Would you care for some tea? Oh, would you care for some tea? Miss Hall. Ha! <laughs> Katie! Apparently, I have been to this channel before or something because I have. Well, that's awesome! Welcome back, Foxy Osi! No, I'm fine! Thanks, Kate and Edgy! You guys can have some! Well, since you asked, we might as well take a short break. Certainly. 
Tea time! Thanks for the tea! <laughs> wow, it's so tasty! What kind of tea is this, Mr. Edgeworth? It's Ceylon tea, known for its citrus aroma. However, Miss Hall, is this the same tea you served us this morning? <gasps> yes, that's right. Was it not to your liking? No, it's not that. The tea we had this morning had a slightly different aroma. Was it minty? Because that might be important. How strange. It is the same Ceylon tea I served this morning. There shouldn't be anything different about it. What's wrong with you, Angie? Quit nitpicking about the tea Katie so kindly prepared for you. Well, maybe you just stopped in for some reason. Or maybe you just got some extra points. So maybe somebody gifted points. Can people do that? I feel like people can do that. <laughs> I'm not upset. You're just being a rude jerk. And I told you to call me Loris. Sheesh, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. It's like arguing with a child. Loris, I wonder what's wrong. I'd like to ask him that later myself. And I also need to speak with Miss Hall. I don't have any evidence that shows she is the culprit, but I dare say she is the one who set up the poison gas trap. Something about the tea. I'm gonna connect those thoughts because those seem connectable. Oh, damn. That was not correct. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll move on. Um, what is this cart? Hmm. This lift trolley has just been left here. I wonder if it was used recently to carry something heavy. Like a body. The surface of the platform appears to be wet. Like the body was. <laughs> hmm. I remember seeing this lift trolley someplace before. You mean during the I-7 incident? Ah, that's right. I remember now. It was in Dover's room. If I remember correctly, it was used to transport the eye sculptures. The lift trolley has a feature that allows you to adjust the height and angle of the platform. With just one of these, a single person can move the sculptures all by themselves. Ooh, that's important. Wow, how convenient. I want one too. Why is there a lift trolley here? I guess that's something we'll need to think about. Yes, it could be related to the case. too I like it when people raid I also try to raid people but I haven't done it recently because I, have, I haven't been able to like find anybody uh, who do I want to talk to I'll talk to this guy the prosecutor the best ordered me not to let you investigate anything but this room I absolutely cannot let you pass it through any further than this. I'm sorry. I won't since I can't pass through anyway. You're standing in front of a wall. Uh, no. After all, you're Prosecutor Edwards. If you really wanted to, this wall wouldn't stop you. Wow, you're even more fearsome than I thought, Mr. Edward. <clears throat> Just what kind of human do these people think I am? I'm going to look at this fountain. It appears the body has already been recovered by the police. Why was the body of the victim from 18 years ago found floating in the fountain? I mean, wouldn't the body have gone all goopy after 18 years? Which is exactly what I was thinking, and it's not a great, not a great thought. I don't know if I would call it goopy. <laughs> mm. It certainly would have required a special method to preserve the body. Yeah, I wonder if such a method even exists. Hey, Mr. Forensic Guy. Any new information? Yes. <laughs> Normalium and Fatalium have been detected in the fountain water. They must have flowed through the stream from the Autumn Palace to the fountain. Aside from the chemicals, 
we also found high levels of sugar. We're working hard on investigating it. Sugar in the fountain water. What could have caused that? Uh, hey, Larry? Larry, tell me what you're hiding. <laughs> you two, stop glaring at each other like that. I'm not glaring, Kay. I'm using my artist's perspective. Edgy's the one who's glaring. Then, if you know what's good for you, you will tell me what you're hiding right now. No way, dude! Didn't I say that I'm not talking to you anymore? Aren't you talking to me right now? From now on! From now on, definitely not talking to you anymore. You're being a butthead. <laughs> hmm. I'm not going to get anywhere like this. Looks like I'll have to force it out of him. Ooh. Hiding something? Larry, what are you hiding? Hm. Hey, come on. Mr. Edward, this isn't the time to be playing around, you know. Hm. I wasn't playing around. Still, it looks like Larice won't be talking anytime soon. If he isn't going to talk to us willingly, I'll just have to force him to talk. Just what is Larry hiding? Perhaps I should investigate a bit more. I should continue investigating around the fountain patio. I guess I don't have any evidence. I feel like it might have, uh... Alright, fine. I'll talk to these assholes. I feel that your conduct thus far has clearly been out of line. I will make sure to bring this matter up to the PIC. Do whatever you want. But in return, we're going... Oh! Thank you! Thank you for the follow! Where did my alert box go? That's weird, it didn't alert me. But thank you so much for the follow, Foxy Ozzy. I appreciate it. That's so strange. Why did my notification come up? Hmm. That's quite strange indeed. It should have. Didn't play a sound or anything. That's so weird. I'm sorry that you didn't get the notification. Wait, hold on, maybe I can play it. Hmm, I guess not. Why is it not letting me? That's so weird. Hmm. Anyway. But in return, we're going to be doing whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the little miss... You're the little miss great thief. I will have to report your misconduct to the PIC as well, young lady. Sure, since it will only serve to increase my fame as the great thief. It seems even Judge Courtney is unable to get a handle on Kay. I don't want to talk to him, but I'm going to. Mr. DeBest, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. <laughs> I'm not gonna move. Just do what you can over there. Don't say that. It's probably the best if you stand over there. The best, do you say? Okay, I'll go stand over there. So anything is fine as long as you add the best to it? Well, he didn't move, did he? What's this stuff? On the shelf are trophies commemorating Isaac Dover's work as Pierre Hoquet. He truly was a first-rate artist. There are quite a number of trophies lined up here. I remember you have some trophies too, Mr. Edgeworth. I would love to have some too. If only there were a contest for thieves. How about it, Mr. Edgeworth? We could hold one at the prosecutor's office. I don't mind you holding a contest, but all the participants would be arrested. <laughs> yeah, probably. I guess I can't go in there either. Um, what is this? What is happening? That is a stain on the floor. What is this stain on the floor? Hmm. The smell and this color. Don't tell me. This is a puddle of tea. Huh? There's a piece of pottery in the middle of the puddle. Uh-oh. Somebody broke a cup. Somebody broke a cup. I wonder what broke. 
I think I recognize the design. I should probably show this to that man and see what he has to say. Ooh, Larry, did you break it? Larry, did you break the, did, did you break it? Larry, take a look at this. Uh, what's that? Larry, I've got a feeling that what you're hiding is related to the tea and this pottery shard. I think it's the best for you to say Courtney did it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Courtney's just like, no, 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 <laughs> don't, overruled. <laughs> well, if you're not going to talk to me, I can always hand this shard over to Judge Courtney. Wait, I'm trying to keep a clean image for Justy. I don't want her to see I've, how I've dirtied myself. I can't imagine what part of you can be considered clean, but if you don't want her to declare you guilty, I suggest you speak truthfully now. I, I got it, I'll tell you. Larry, it's time you confess to what you've done. <laughs> How can you be so cruel to your best friend? <laughs> the same way you can be so dishonest to your best friend. Well, you can stop glaring at me. I promise to tell the truth for tr truth this time for sure. I just thought I'd pour Justy some tea, but my hand kind of slipped a bit and it broke. I accidentally broke the crazy expensive teapot. The butt strikes again. Why am I not surprised? Oh boy, you've really done it this time, Larice. What should I do, Edgy? I, I, can you hate me? Crying to me about it won't solve anything. First, you should apologize to Miss Hall. Damn, groveling on his knees. Is that so? My teapot was... Katie, I'm so sorry. I, I don't have any money, but I'll draw as many portraits of you as you like. Oh, Lord. Please kindly raise your head, monsieur. It is I who should apologize. I didn't notice the broken shards. It's dangerous, so I'll tidy up the broken pieces. Allow me to take this piece from you as well. Wasn't this tea set one of Isaac Dover's works? I heard that it was very important to you. Yes, but there's no use, cr there's no use crying over spilled tea. Besides, I still have another one of those teapots left. Is she not as attached to Dover's works as she used to be? Katie, you're so kind. Oh, that other teapot you were talking about, is it the one that was on the cart? Uh, yes. Truth is, when I was trying to hide the broken shards, I looked under that cart, and I found the teapot that looked exactly the same, so I switched them. Good to know. Really? Yeah, everything's cool now. I took great care to make sure no one would break that pot. You, don't brag about that when you were the one who broke it in the first place. Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't mind, thank you for your consideration. Edgy, Katie is a really nice lady, isn't she? You should reflect on how you cause trouble for people like her. Okay, when I make it as big as when I make it big as an artist, I'll donate paintings. In fact, I'll even welcome you as my own personal model. I think I'd bet I think it'd be better if you just stopped causing trouble. I hope you haven't done anything else. I haven't! I just stood around sketching beauties. Sketching beauties? Hmm? If you're interested, I can let you take a peek. I guess even Mr. Edgeworth is interested in beauties. It's not like that. Ooh! <laughs> I just thought it might be another one of his strange paintings. How dare you! I'm very confident in my work this time. Oh, I want to see too. Oh, I'm glad you're so honest about it, Kay. I'll get it ready, so come check it out later. I guess I'll have him show it to me later. 
sketching beauties. Can I see it now, actually? About that sketch you mentioned just now. What? If you wanted to see my art, you should have been honest about it from the start. Look, here it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I'm glad that he included Delicia. I was a little afraid that he was going to leave her out. But look at him sketching the beauties. Sketching all the beauties. I already told you. It's a sketch of the beauties. Or of beauties. Ah, but just to be clear. The, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. I thought, man, I, sh I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Ah, uh, but just to be clear, the beauties only refers to Jesse and Katie. Anyway, this is why I put the trigger warning in the beginning. That other plump lady has nothing to do with that. Then why did you draw her on the same page? Because she deserves to be there too! Well, I was taking a break from my still life painting when those beauties caught my eye. I guess I just drew them on the same page without thinking. So you're saying that the pictures on this page were each drawn separately? Huh? Oh yeah, I may have drawn them in at different times. By the way, there's a drawing of the beautiful Little Miss K on another page. Wow, beautiful, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Larry, you drew this exactly as you saw it, correct? Well, yeah, even I can't draw what I can't see. I recreated the scene perfectly, even the delicate shades. Delicate shades, huh? Hmm. I don't want to admit it, but this picture might be of help to the investigation. The contents of this sketch and the service cart in the fountain patio. It seems there is a contradiction between the two. I'll need to expose this contradiction using my powers of deduction. Can I borrow this sketch for a while? Sure! I can even sign it for you if you'd like. I think I'll pass. And I think it's probably a good time to make a little save state. And also make another save state just because I'm dumb and I oftentimes overwrite myself. And I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I thought you were friends. <laughs> Fine, now we are not. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um. Anyway, I think is a good stopping point here. I think we made a lot of progress. I'm gonna just quit it on out. Um. But anyway. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another Ace Attorney stream because I'm super in an Ace Attorney mood. I will be streaming this again on Wednesday, so no art this week. Um, no art stream this week. Um, obviously, I'm still going to be working on stuff, but uh, no art stream. I will be doing more Ace Attorney, and I'm working my way through Ace Attorney investigations, and pretty soon I'll be streaming uh, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I'm super excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Um, I love these games. I love doing accents. I, I'm going to try my best to, like, find a video of a German accent that I can reference. So I'm, like, a little more prepared because I have a feeling that we might flash back just a little. Um, and if not, then I'll, at least I'll just know how to do it for my, my, own, sa my own sake. Um, but, yeah, thanks again. Um, I'll be uh, – I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, give me a follow on my social medias. Uh, if you haven't already, I post any and all updates uh, on my Twitter. Um, art goes on my Instagram. I haven't posted on my Instagram in a little while. I probably should do that. But, uh, yeah, just they're swiping down below. So if you uh, if you feel so inclined, give, dr drop that follow. Slam that motherfucking like button. Woohoo. Uh, and, yeah, th thanks again. Um, I'll see y'all on the flip side. <laughs>